What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So we're talking about the Halloween franchise in this video here again today. Now I had no intentions of making another video today. I didn't even expect to come across a rumor such as this but it would appear that the next adventure or the next chapter in Michael Myers ongoing saga has already been decided upon. Rumored by two reliable scoopers that have proven themselves trustworthy in the past big screen leaks and Cinestealth alike Cinestealth uh, I, I know big screen leaks is probably who you guys probably know more about or probably more familiar with I should say Cinestealth his track record their track record comes down to the rumor regarding Freaky Friday 2 which has been confirmed to be an official thing that Disney's working on they also put out tidbits about the upcoming Crystal Lake show before it even was announced and that ended up getting announced like they said it was or alluded to and some other stuff they've just been right about in the past big screen leaks speaks for himself a uh, lot a lot of amazing track records there for both of them to me so in terms of Halloween and the latest rumor that has come out from Cinestealth that big screen leaks also echoed down into afterward was that executive producer Malika Cod has already heard multiple pitches, formal and informal, about where to take the Halloween franchise next. But nothing is set in stone and any ideas will need to be shopped around to new studios, distributors. Blumhouse is out. A TV series is on the table. Big Screen Leaks chimed in saying, I'm pretty sure he's already in development on one of these pitches. So to me, that makes me go which one of these pitches are they going with the only pitch we know about is coming from danielle harris herself who at one point on her podcast not too long ago she put out or she was talking about having conversations with malika cod talking about how she can return and you know doing a, a it would seem also from her instagram story because again in my earlier video i alluded to this post she put up on her instagram story it would appear daniel harris would prefer to just see a true legacy sequel to halloween 4 that puts her back in the center i would assume and we just pick up with jamie's story as an adult like i stated in my earlier video i would just set it maybe a couple years not a couple actually it would be several decades later like 30 35 years later and you can have Jamie in her 40s, mid 40s. Michael, of course, would be in his 60s or so since he would be a senior citizen once again. But like I stated, the Halloween trilogy that we just got had him in his 60s. And they, they didn't portray him overly too much like an old man, excluding Halloween ends, which I didn't really like the portrayal of Michael Myers at times in that movie. But I get what they were going for. I do. As far as what you could do if you were to bring Jamie Lloyd back again, take some inspiration from stuff Dave McRae has echoed over on his channel just give us a story that allow, that allows the viewer to believe that Jamie is not well she's been released from Smith's Grove she is headed home to Haddonfield hell set the entire thing in Smith's Grove which is something else Dave McCray has stated that Halloween 5 probably could have benefited from doing uh, but yeah, let's say she is released from Smith's Grove. She's deemed healthy. The whole town of Haddonfield, though, they've been talking about her for years, ever since she attacked her stepmother at the end of Halloween 4, and ever since Michael Myers was believed to be dead after the shootout with the cops at the end of 4. She's become the new town boogeyman. She comes home. They don't like it. They think she's a threat. They don't think she belongs here. And we see that put into full effect even further when bodies start dropping around the town of Haddonfield. And then slowly but surely you find out that it's not Jamie who's behind this. It's her uncle, Michael Myers, who has returned because Jamie is now back. And he wants to, of course, finish off killing his bloodline. They don't need to go into anything as far as like giving any wild explanations related to cults or anything as far as like addressing the Thorn stuff. Disregard all of that. Just give us a simple direct sequel to Halloween 4 and let it be a final showdown between Michael and Jamie. I have also said bring back Rachel. Sure, you might have to recast the character of Rachel, but... I would like to see the character of Rachel just have a proper return after what she endured in Halloween 4. I don't think they did her a fair service in Halloween 5. Not at all. Not at all. Especially when the death itself didn't do anything to really progress the narrative for it since her death remained widely unknown for the biggest time during the during the runtime of Halloween 5. But the other possibilities are endless. You could do a sequel to Resurrection. You could do a sequel to Halloween 6? Halloween 6 if they wanted to because uh, I know Halloween H2O ignores Halloween 6 so maybe they can do a direct sequel to that you could do so many different things you could start the timeline over again with a fresh slate and just set it in modern times but 
switch up Michael Myers and Michael Myers backstory to just make it modernize in a way and just give us entirely new slate of characters to invest in. And uh, still, of course, have it in Haddonfield. You could have a new Dr. Loomis type of character or maybe even keep Dr. Loomis around. But again, just modernize it. So again, we would just be going down the remake path at that point. More so a reboot at that point, because I wouldn't really have a lower stroke type or anything i would switch up a lot of the characters from the original so i guess it would be more of a reboot in my head you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you are excited about this do you think that there is truth to this rumor i don't think we have any reason to doubt that there's any truth to the rumor because we all were basically anticipating michael myers to return at some point anyway I was certain they would at least take a five-year break. I mean, with the ongoing strikes between SAG and the WGA and, of course, the AMPTP at the center of it all, we might not get a new project from anyone for many years. But the fact that Malika Cod apparently has decided on a pitch, according to Big Screen Leaks, just has my mind going to different places. The only one I can safely assume might have been the one to win him over is Danielle Harris's pitch doing a direct sequel to Halloween 4. She's already talked about it on her podcast. She recently put out that poster from a fan on her Instagram story. So that's the safest thing to assume that we might be getting. I know a lot of you are pretty much going to be excited for that. But of course, we could just be starting a fresh new slate and not have anything to do with anyone we've come to know at all in this franchise. You give us a fresh batch of characters outside of Michael Myers himself who will remain the one insane, brutal mass killer. But again, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you excited about the potential chance of seeing Michael Myers return? And I guess also let's talk about this really quick. What do you think could be done with a TV show or do you think that wouldn't work out? I think that a TV show could have some potential depending on what you want to do with it. If you want to do a TV show showing Michael's time in Smith's Grove, maybe that could have some potential uh, or doing a TV show that because I'm just trying to figure out how could this work? How, how could Michael Myers attacks on Halloween? So you could do something, I guess, that leads up to his attack on a Halloween night in that season. But of course, it's a slow progression since it's, a, it's done in episodic format and you get a lot of great character development. A lot of great targets can be set up for Michael to go after on Halloween night. You could do something like that. But I think I would prefer to see a show that's just set in Smith's Grove showing us his childhood in that asylum but that's just me let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and no i do not think jamie lee curtis should return jamie lee curtis has had her proper send-off that we know she deserved after the abysmal abysmal send-off she had with halloween resurrection with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video